recent developments uh, relative to the Narcomfin uh, communal house by Nancy Ginsburg and Ignati Milinis are rather troublesome, uh, worrisome to say the least. Uh, on the edge of a scandal, the current owner uh, considers that he, uh, he alone has the knowledge, the expertise to restore a remarkable building of the 1920s. I must say, as a historian and a, a preservationist and curator, I have been watching what has happened in the past 50 years in terms of the conservation of modernist heritage. And it's not true that no one is competent. I mean, it's a very provincial view to consider that there are no experts. I mean, look at the work of Le Corbusier and its restoration. Look at the completely ruined buildings of the uh, Dessau Bauhaus, which have been extremely competently restored at the experience of Dutch architects, the experience of Berlin architects with the uh, uh, housing estates of Brunetout. There is a worldwide knowledge and, uh, for restoration. And in the perception of these worldwide, ex uh, world, worldwide experts, something is extremely important. It's also one of the key criteria for the inclusion of buildings on the World Heritage List. This notion is authenticity, keeping materiality of the buildings, keeping the window casement, keeping the floors, keeping the uh, uh, iron radiators. So all the materiality of the building is what counts and can be in most cases successfully restored. It's even sometimes cheaper than to build it completely anew. So I'm very worried to see uh, on the side here the new window frames to learn that floors have been thrown away, that the radiators have been disposed with, and uh, in the name of a very uh, authoritarian way of dealing with a piece of cultural heritage. And I think that most uh, competent people uh, in this country and in the West will share this view.